Studying for the PE exam can be really hard, especially just finding the time to study. One way to balance your studying and the rest of your life is to create a study schedule. However, developing a study plan and schedule can be complicated as each person's work and living situation, available time, existing knowledge, learning pace, and even experience vary greatly. But because I have been told by many PEs that their study plan and schedule was the single most important item that helped them pass the PE exam, in this week's edition of Pass the PE Exam, I'm going to provide you with a seven step process to help you develop your own personalized PE exam study plan and schedule. Before I do that though, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced, whether it was due to a promotion, salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on. You want to get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge, but through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything you need to get started with PE exam preparation the right way. Firstly, let me remind you that in order to pass your PE exam, you should allow at least six months to prepare, figuring at least one hour per day of study time. That being said, here are seven steps to make sure you can create a schedule to realize that goal. Step one, your first step in creating a study schedule is to assess your current schedule and the way you are currently spending your time and look for ways to be more efficient. For example, what activities might you be able to cut while you prepare for the PE exam? So to take this first step, I'd like you to do the following actions for the next two weeks. Track your time in 30 minute increments. How much time do you spend on work, exercise, family time, TV time, social media scrolling, probably an area you can cut. Then look at the results of your analysis and use your engineering brain to do some quick math to see what you can cut. People tend to find that they spend a lot of time on social media and other entertainment activities. Step two, design your weekly schedule going forward with five to seven hours of PE exam study time each week. Be sure that you design your schedule based on your own natural tendencies. If you're a morning person, plan on studying early in the morning before work. Maybe you're a night owl, then plan to study at night before bed. Doing this will increase your chances of sticking to this schedule, which leads me to step three, stick to your schedule. There's no point in creating a study schedule if you're not going to stick to it. So here are two things that you can do to make sure you stick to the schedule that we're creating here. First, put all of your study time on your calendar. I recommend setting up study sessions as recurring calendar appointments. Why wouldn't you? They should be just as important as everything else you are doing. Secondly, stick to the schedule religiously for the first three weeks. Scientific research has shown that it takes 21 days of doing something to make it a habit. I've used this 21 day rule successfully to build many good habits. It works. Step four, list all of the topics that you'll need to study in a document or a checklist. By doing this, each time you have a study session, you will be clear on what to focus on, which will help you to stay motivated. Because if there is any lack of clarity around what you should be studying, then you may just stop studying. It happens to everyone. If there is no clear action, we don't take one. Step five, figure out what you need to do for each main section now that you've listed all these sections that you need to study. You must figure out specifically what to do in each of these main sections. So if you have a study guide with review sections, use it to narrow down what you list on this checklist. For example, if you have statics on the list, try to create sub bullets with the different areas of statics that you plan to study and maybe even list the associated pages or chapters in your study guide. You see what we're doing here? You're creating a solid study plan that's detailed and will keep you on schedule. Step six, prioritize your list. After you've made this list with all the main topics that you'll need to study for the PE exam and you've figured out now what you need to do for each one, prioritize these main sections, ranking each one in importance, which will help you to figure out 
what topics you need to devote the most time to. I'm working on a separate video to help you with this in terms of understanding the weight of specific topics or problems. You'll get that video if you are subscribed to my channel here. Last but not least, step seven, reserve time for leisure activities. While blocking off time for studying, you need to make sure that you are also blocking off time for family, friends, and other leisurely activities. You will not be successful in your studies unless you create a good balance between your personal and your work life. Plan time for events that you can't reschedule, like birthdays or doctor's appointments. Reserve ample time for rest, sleep, and exercise. Your body carries your mind, so you need to keep your body in shape. So there you have it. The most important thing that you can do to pass the PE exam is to create a study schedule and build a habit of sticking to it during your entire preparation period. It is truly the most important thing that you can do. And if you didn't do it while you were watching this video, simply start the video over and pause it after each step while you complete them. Trust me, it will be worth your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. In one of our upcoming videos, I will be speaking with a licensed professional engineer about the benefits that he has enjoyed from achieving his license, some of which may surprise you. Pass the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. And let me know if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question you would like answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.